Though sci-fi movies would have us believe that space is incredibly cold, even freezing, space itself isn't exactly cold. In fact, it doesn't actually have a temperature at all. Temperature is a measurement of the speed at which particles are moving, and heat is how much energy the particles of an object have. So in a truly empty region space, there would be no particles and radiation, meaning there's also no temperature. Of course, space is full of particles and radiation to produce heat and a temperature. So how cold is space? Is there any region that is truly empty? And is there anywhere that the temperature drops to absolute zero? The hottest regions of space are immediately around stars, which contain all the conditions to kickstart nuclear fusion. Things really warm up when radiation from a star reaches a spot in space with a lot of particles. This gives the radiation from stars like the sun something to actually act upon. That's why Earth is a lot warmer than the region between our planet and its star. The heat comes from particles in our atmosphere vibrating with solar energy and then bumping into each other distributing this energy. Proximity to our star and possessing particles are no guarantee of warmth though. Mercury, closest to the sun, is blisteringly hot during the day and frigidly cold at night. Its temperatures drop to a low of minus 178 degrees Celsius. Temperatures dip to minus 224 degrees Celsius on Uranus, making it even colder than on the furthest planet from the sun, Neptune, which has a still incredibly cold surface temperature minus 214 degrees Celsius. This is a result of a collision with an Earth-sized object early in its existence causing Uranus to orbit the Sun on an extreme tilt, making it unable to hang on to its interior heat. Far away from stars particles are so spread out that heat transfer via anything but radiation is impossible, meaning temperatures radically drop. This region is called the interstellar medium. The universe is so vast and filled with such a multitude of objects, some blisteringly hot, others unimaginably frigid, that it should be impossible to give space a single temperature. As the universe continues to expand, that means space is colder now than it's ever been and it's getting colder. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.